Hello everyone, this is Plasma here. Welcome. We are now playing a game called Max the Curse of the Brotherhood. Uh, this is the, um, I would say the prologue, and it's called Another Land. Um, the achievement we're going for is called Ludicrous Speed. And this is achievement based. We have to get to the top of this tower within five minutes. I'm not sure when the timer starts, so I'm just starting out the tower. Just like to confirm, I've already got the achievement, so you won't see it pop. I am playing on PC, so the Steam version, so the tunes will pop at the bottom right. Of course, the logo's there, but um, you shouldn't really need to see it. But I, will, but I will let you know. So, not much I can really say about this one, just get to the top of this tower or the mountain as quick as you can. And this will be an all in one as well, that I forgot to mention. So all these routes, not routes, all these routes, sorry. It's all part of the um, game, so we can't miss out. And there's only one way. So yeah, once you get to the top, you'll get your chimp down the bottom right hand side, depending what platform you're playing on. But of course, I already got it. So this is the start of the Sea of Sand. Um, I want to say the start, but very close to the start, you'll see this evil eye. We need five of these for this level. But in total, there's 75. So later on, very well, I'll say shortly after. So this this is where the eye is, number two. So just continue on, and you'll see this big massive skull. And you see the two eyes above. So I2 is there and I3 is on the left side. So to get this, or get these two, we need the uh, the rock on top of that cliff side there to the top right hand side. That's what we need. So from here, you want to make this platform come up. But not too far up because we need to climb it. Okay, once you've done that, you want to destroy the platform and make a bigger one, all the way to the top. Once you've done that, go left and jump up the platform you made. From, from here, you want to um, move the uh, rock and it fall down to the bottom like so. Once you've done that, you want to push this block all the way to the left. Do not push it off the uh, ledge. Jump up to claim your Evil Eye 2 and Evil Eye 3. So yeah, just move to the left, you'll find Evil Eye 3. No more. So, soon after, you'll get to this platform section here, where you got to move up some pillars, or platform areas, so you can um, do that. Also, there's a tune for using your magic um, pen 25 times, but there's no point in me telling you that, because you get it while playing the game. So once you perform the third platform, or make it come up, do a small one. From here, jump down and continue forward to claim the secret one of one. There is more than one secret, of course, but in this chapter, or this level, there's one, but there's 18 in total. So yeah, once you get to this part here, you see this little critter thing here, I'm not sure what it's called, but they blow up. For the achievement, you need to make sure you um, alert them, but don't get blown up. So you got to avoid five of them when they blow up for an achievement. So I won't be showing you any more of them, just make sure you do the achievement. Because um, I believe that's mainly part of the story as well, so you won't really miss out on that achievement. So, Evil Eye 5. Once you get here with the snail, just move the platform up and you'll find the Evil Eye to the left. So this will be your first snail encounter. So you can't miss this area. Okay, once you get here, you have to do the achievement called Clever Boy. This is at the very end of Sea of Sand. 
you have to perform this in three moves. So just copy what I did there. For this one, you need to destroy this and quickly make another pillar right underneath you and go right to the top. Other than that, it's not that difficult. Moving on to the next one. So moving on to the next level, it's called the Black Canyon. This is as soon as you start the level. You want to make the platform come up, jump down, jump across. Ah, my bad. Before you jump across, you want to go down and pull the eye off the wall there. Okay, there's also another achievement called um, Hold On Tight. For this one, you have to see the snail and you have to make this platform on top of the snail. And now all you need to do now is just stand on the snail for 10 seconds and you'll get the achievement Hold On Tight. So this will be your second snail encounter. And you see the secret on the top right. Of course it's the secret 101, but in total it should be 2 of 18. So this is a puzzle area. So we need this snail to get the uh, secret. Yeah, don't be afraid to jump on the snail now, like I, I was scared to. I wasn't sure if it's going to kill me or not. But once you go to the top, make sure you do a platform. When the snail goes far enough to the right as possible, you want to jump up and claim the secret. This will be number 2 of 18. So Evil Eye 2. Once you get to this part where you have to um, destroy the bridge, or knock the bridge down. As you see very closely, look at the top of the screen, top left, and you'll see the Evil Eye. So yeah, like I said, once you were uh, destroyed, or knocked down, so not destroyed, but once you then uh, knock down the bridge, and use the pillar, and go all the way to the top. Jump to the left, to find your evil eye too. Ignore the counter on the top left because I missed this one. So evil eye 3, once you get to the snail section once again, the evil eye will be to the top right. You have to do the snail part, you can't miss this, you shouldn't miss this anyway. Ignore what I'm doing with this um, crate because you don't need to do it like I'm doing. Once you make a platform, go across to find the Evil Eye 3. Evil Eye 4. From the location of Evil Eye 3, you want to finish this puzzle off, so make the snail come up here. Jump on the rope and you should see the eye right about now. So that would be Evil Eye 4 for you. So on your count on the top left, you should say, it should say Evil Eye 9. Not 9, sorry, my bad. Yeah, it should say 9. So this is the next level called the Crossing. And you'll find these lovely creatures, big creatures with maces and they won't mess around. So once you run away from one of them, quickly go to the top here and jump on this rope. You'll see another rope, slightly higher than where you are, and you'll find a bell. This is the achievement, you have to ring the bell for the achievement, for whom the bell tolls. So once you get that achievement, then grab the evil eye off to the left side, left. So I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. I ate one of four for this level. From the last location, I would say from the last location, it's near enough just left, or right off the evil eye, and you'll be right here. So this is not far away. So once you get to that part where I was, go left into the right and you'll find Evil Eye 2. As I was trying to show you when I jumped off to my death, I tried to show you um, it's not that far from the last location of Evil Eye 1. So yeah, secret number one 
of course this should be secret number three of 18 so I've dropped down right to the very bottom please be careful of this critter thing or explosive thing make him blow up and once you go to the top jump up to grab the secret So evil eye three of four. Once you get here, you can't miss it. You have to move the uh, the box or the crate on your right hand side. So move this crate as far as possible to the left side of that pillar. Now, once you bring it up, now you need to uh, grab it if possible and pull it. Once you think you pulled it far enough, jump on it and jump left. That will be Evil Eye 3 or 4. So now the counter should be correct again. So it should be 12. And then Evil Eye 4. As soon as you drop down, you'll be on this rope while I'm swinging. Just jump to the left and you'll find the Evil Eye before you uh, go on the pillars there to the right or the platforms. <laughs> 